and you end up back in E2 OMG. Okay? Right? Okay? Those off. You kind of step, keep your weight back. So you're cute. So, okay, let's look, let's look at the footwork for a minute. Just the footwork is here. Okay, he comes in, all right? I get off line, all right? Remember my hands are here, okay? And then I step forward. I'm really just shifting my, from here to here. I don't have to step this far in because it's too close. My arm can reach there. So I don't need to come all the way in here because then I'd be all the way up here. Why do I have to, why do, I do that? No, you just want to go here. Okay, so when you adjust your footwork, right, it's just here, right? Okay, because what you're studying here is your maximum allowable reach, right? It's not here. My reach is here. Okay, so I'm here and here. Okay, close up. When he comes in, watch. 45 degrees this way. Right here. And then bring this foot back a little bit. And then he steps in. No, it's not, it's not really, it doesn't have to be a big step. Yeah. More than anything, what you're looking to do is your, your shoulders and your hips are stationed right here. And then in order to get this strike off, I really just want to get them here. That's it. I really don't need to advance that far in. Most people are advancing too far in when they do this. It's really just getting your moving your frame from here to here. That So the trick with this one is staying you shift. Now you want to think about shifting the weight of the slope. I know it's a lot, so, but uh, just something to watch out for. Right? I'm here, and then I shift. Let's see how my weight is on the back foot still. And then I shift forward. So that when I do this, it's adding all this power from shifting my weight. Just getting offline 45 degrees, all right? I just want you to do that footwork. Here, offline, okay? That's exactly where I want it to be. Like he's almost just hitting it. Right? Okay? Uh -oh. Alright? Okay. Just that. Okay? So I'm in Jumonji and I open up into Ichimonji. Okay? See how I'm hitting right into the uh, tricep there? Okay? And the angle is really up and out. It's not just to the side, it's not up, it's 45 degrees up and out, right there. But really, I'm just doing this kamai, right? In effect, okay? To the other, right? I drop this, right? And I'm, I square my shoulders off, and then as I'm arriving on this, my weight is, is coming onto this foot, I'm turning and striking. And just like we practiced at the beginning, really swing from the shoulder here, here, right? And keeping this guard up, you have to keep this guard up, right? Because you have always have the possibility of the cross, yeah? The nice thing is, if you keep this here, it's still gonna, you still have a chance of attacking the chest, even on this side, there's a lot of different things that could happen, so. But you gotta keep that guard up. Right? So again, I just want to reiterate the weights on this back foot, right? And, I've, and I just did my dakanuke. As I'm shifting, I turn my shoulders, right? In the middle. And then as I, as I land on the lead foot, I'm extending out. Really turning my spine. So you've got you to gotta look at this spinal movement like that. See that? So I'm here, and then I turn, right? And then I turn back, okay? So that's using your spine to generate the force you need for the strike. This is a strike. You're not just poking somebody in the side, playing games.
He went straight. Ah. All right. It's very effective. Ah. Right. Oh, oh, just sorry. <laughs> One, two, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Do that. Say so boom, and then wait for him to. You want to be doing. You want to create a vacuum, right? Boom, and then. Make him want to strike. <laughs> okay? He's coming in to attack the Busumetsu. If I don't get out of the way, punch. Okay? That's what is happening. Okay? So I'm here, there. Okay? I want you to do a nice get on Uke. Stand up tall, right? Come up and down. All right? down. Okay? Okay? Just that. Are you bending the knee? Huh? Are you bending the knee? Yes. Everything's going down. Right? And I'm keeping this guard here. Right? So I'm going back. Keep this here. Don't be lazy. All right. Don't let it go lazy. Keep it here. All right. Hold up. You notice that gu that guard is in every kata. Good. It's the same idea as we did before. As long as you just put that hand right here, it's going to deflect. Right. That don't mock it. Yeah. Yeah, don't lock your arms, guys. It's not this, it's this. You never want to lock a joint out. Because you, you if you lock your joints any in any movement, really, especially in fighting though, you, you're gonna get hyperextended if you get unlucky. Okay. You rise. Kick, right? The kick comes from rising up. Right? So let's do the kick now. Right? <clears throat> so he comes in, okay? Boom. You get that little opening there, right? And then up with the kick, right? Just there, okay? Just the kick. Get on, up. Okay? One more time. Okay? Those three areas. Okay, actually four. Right, boom. You can just. Okay. Right. I've done my gate on uke. Right. I, I've, I've, I'm sinking here. I'm compressed. Right. And then I kind of let that go like a spring. Right. Boom. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? So you sink and compress, and then you let it go, and then you come back to rest. Okay? So that works. Are you alright? Are you alright? Bring the foot back and step forward or shoot up. Right? Down here. Okay. That's it.
lines down, right? Like that. Kick. I'm going to bring this foot back. I have long arms, so I need to give myself plenty of room. Notice where I'm keeping my hands, though. Get on, okay, is there, right? And then from here, I'm not, I'm not loading up a lot. I'm not telegraphing. I'm just stepping forward and I let the urge shoot go, go, right? Okay. Boom. Okay. Keep this guard here. He can cross at any moment, right? You see? Right. So the gate on comes in. Gate on. Okay. Keeping this guard here. Pack. Okay and set the leg down. I'm setting, if he were to be really tall and long arms, I would probably have to set my leg up in front a little bit. But because I'm long, right, and he's right there, I actually bring it back a little bit, and then I let it go. And the important thing is, is like, you're all twisted up right now, right? When you do this properly, it's like a spring. See how my hips are wound up, right? So when I step forward, I'm letting, the, I'm letting my hips go, and everything's coming into that earth shoot though, if you're doing it right, okay? I not want to be too close, because what happens if I get too close? Cross, boom, or this one comes across, right? Right? But if I get to my perfect distance here, or near perfect distance, if he if he crosses, he needs to he needs to actually cover a lot of distance, right? And my hands right already there. Okay, close my fist. Okay, get underneath it with my body. Right, in and out. Okay. 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 So he's grabbing hard. Right, extend out. Close your fist. Right, get underneath it a little bit. Right. Boom. He's like, okay. punch your way out. Everything is a punch. Right. It's like, what's the four? It's like, four, is it? Right? So you get underneath it, right? Here, step into the side. So that wrist becomes a focal point, right? This is the point, this is the center point that I move around, okay? I use my knees, my spine, and it's like I'm doing Jumonji no Komai, and then Urashuka, right? Okay. Arm, too much arm. You want to do it with your waist, your legs. See? Okay. I let, I'm, I'm pretty loose in my arm, right? Right? And then I... Oh, you step as you... Yeah. Okay. I, I did it with my legs and my spine and my position, right? Okay. Tight, 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 tight. Right? I do it with my waist, my legs. That's the thing that does the work, okay? The waist and legs. Good. The thing is, but you're, you're leaning over with your chin like this. Mm -hmm. I want you to stand up straight and tall. Make sure you look up and you can see his whole body, okay? So just, just always remember that, right? And then from here, Okay, and then you you sort of check his elbow at your elbow, right? Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So a small tendency to lean like that. Mm. So you're already off balance. He can pull you in. Right. Oh. So you actually, so what you want to do is you actually want to sit down and be able to see where he is because if you get in the habit of doing this you're like you're giving him a little bit there so stay here right so you can see everything it's a punch okay <laughs> okay so that just said you know you just want to 
make sure you stand up straight because you can see what's coming at you. If I do just even that, I just give him that much more advantage. I'm a little off balance, and he's can be, he can punch me that much faster. So, so just stay over your own frame, okay? And then for this one, you're just stepping in, right? So I'm, it, I know it looks like I'm doing this with my hand, but in reality, I'm really using my body, my legs. I'm stepping in, right? I'm just keeping the tension on. And I'm, it's like I'm doing Jumonji no Kamai, right? And then at the end, okay? Good. Okay, and then. Okay, Does yeah. it feel better? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You too, Gage. Here. Not this. Here, stand up straight, tall. This is Budo, Samurai. It's not MMA. <laughs> why, why am I picking on this? Because in MMA and all this other stuff, these type of fighting, you only have to, you only have to focus on one opponent. So I know where my one opponent is. But think of how it is if you're fighting 10 people. You have people behind you, in front of you, and back of you, to the side of you. You can't lay into just one guy because I, I'm actually shutting off my awareness by doing this. I gotta actually stay up and aware of everything that's going on around me. Okay, so your your kamai, your body positioning affects that awareness. So keep your posture erect, stand up. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha.